The solar roof is here, and Tesla is on fire this week. I promised you good coverage after the delay, and here it comes. Here are your belated Tesla tidbits for October 28, 2016. Friday saw Tesla announce the solar roof and what a product they have. Four different versions of the product applied to four houses you'd never know were solar powered. The solar roof is made of individual shingles just like any normal roof. However, they're textured in a way that hides the actual solar panel. Elon showed the fact that from an extreme angle, such as street level, the shingles appeared just as any other shingle. But when viewed straight on, the cells were visible to the eye and, more importantly, to the sun. The four styles are Tuscan glass tile, smooth glass tile, textured glass tile, and slate glass tile. The slate tile in particular is quite interesting. Elon expanded on this variety, noting that every tile was actually unique as they're created using hydro hydrographic printing. The production process itself makes each tile unique, meaning that even two houses right next to each other wouldn't look exactly the same. If you have any interest in solar at all, you owe it to yourself to watch this whole intro video. In summing up the roof, Elon said, quote, How do we have a solar roof that is better than a normal roof? We have one that looks better, lasts longer, has better insulating effect, and where the cost of the roof plus electricity is less than that of a normal roof, end quote. Later, when talking about the entire solution, Elon concluded, quote, This is the integrated future. You've got an electric car, a power wall, and a solar roof. The key is that it needs to be beautiful, affordable, and seamlessly integrated. And if all of those things are true, why would you go any other direction? End quote. I'm certainly with Elon on this one. If you're building new or have to replace your roof, why would you want anything else? The only downside to the announcement is actually twofold. First, as I mentioned, the only pricing comments we're getting are that it will be at or below the cost of a new conventional roof plus power. No actual pricing. The excuse is that installations will vary and it will be wouldn't be accurate to give a price. I argue that you could at least give a per tile price to compare to other materials, even if the installation can't be predicted. The other downside is still that Solar City is not installing throughout the country. So here in my state of Ohio, I'm unable to buy the product as well as 22 other states in the country. I believe you've heard from Tesla that after the merger, the plan is to install in all states due to the fact that, they, that nearly all states have Tesla stores as is, but there's currently no timeline on when that will happen. Somewhat lost in the announcement is the fact that we have a refreshed Powerwall now. Powerwall 2 holds a totally rectangular design and increased storage and output. The new version will store 14 kilowatt hours of power, power and deliver a 7 kilowatt peak output. In addition, it includes a built-in inverter, which the old Powerwall did not and was a source of issues with the old hardware since a limited set of inverters were compatible. According to the slide on stage, they expect this to be enough to power the lights, sockets, and refrigerator of a four-bedroom home for an entire day. And on this product, we get a price, $5,500. Some digging on the official Powerwall page on the Tesla homepage says that they estimate the installation cost begins at $1,000. Be sure to check out the links to today's full stories in the show description. If you get some value out of my show, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Tidbits. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a quarter a month. Thanks, as usual, to my super patron, John Waltower, for his support. You can support the show for free through positive reviews on the major media services where you find the show and by simply spreading word of the show to other Tesla lovers. Be sure to contribute to my Extra Life campaign if you have some spare scratch to help sick kids. All proceeds will benefit Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital in Cleveland, Ohio. You can find my fundraising page at bit.ly slash tt-el2016 as well as in the show description. If you have feedback for the show, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. That'll do it for today. I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.